I guess to start with, we had the luxury of knowing that Warren was going to go. So you know, he he, he advised us you know, quite a while ago now that he, he'd leave at the end of the World Cup. So we had a trade-off really between did we wait until I guess everybody else was looking and all the speculation that goes with that, or do we go early and potentially get get the pick of the bunch, which you know clearly we've we set out to do, um, and then put in a value on on the ability to plan. So we we knew that there was a good chance that the new coach you know would have limited World Cup experience so not only can we plan now but also you know Wayne gets to experience the World Cup um, probably from a little bit outside the camp but, but able to experience it and think about and plan for 2023 which as I say from a trade-off point of view seemed like seemed like the right call. Uh, how aware of you of the, the magnitude of taking on a role where you know the whole country you know, national sport, the whole country is going to have their eyes on you. How do you feel? Do you feel the pressure or are you going to relish it? No, I think that's an exciting challenge. You know, um, I've had a taste of it for four years, as you mentioned. Down in West Wales is probably a quarter of the population, um, or the rugby population, and uh, look, I've enjoyed it. It's, it keeps you on your toes. Um, it reminds you of how passionate the people are that, that you represent, and you've got to make sure that you do the best you can. A lot of my success has gone to some very good people that I have around me and uh, we want uh, to create an environment going forward which um, continues on from where Warren is and that is that the, the Welsh team is competitive on any given day against any opposition and has the ability to win that match on that day. If we can do that then we're in with a chance.